Hello, it's Larity Friday on Your View. Welcome to the show. I'm Mariah Afo, love you, brown as always. I never do this alone. I have the ladies with me. Hello. Hi. Brilliant What's... morning. Nice, 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 yes. nice. What's up? I'm really drawing my, my, my shirt, this year. my jersey. Yes, so. I'm I not a know. football person. I'm, I'm not your Neither am I. I'm okay. just my husband's fan. Oh, okay. Um, Black is his name, so I'm not wearing for the football what team. What team is this? Does it play? It's Barcelona, I oh, think. Okay. Yeah, so. Does he play? Does he play football? No, he doesn't play football. Uh, but he, but likes he watches, football. yeah. Right, mm -hmm. right. Okay. So I'm wrapping my husband. You know how rappers will give their um, wives their chain? Right. So my own, my husband gave me a shirt. Oh, nice. <laughs> cool. How are you doing, VC? I'm okay. I'm doing amazing. I'm getting ready for my program. Dotting the, the eyes. eyes and crossing the teeth. your eyes this one is here. Yeah. Jesus Christ. A -D -A. <laughs> Anyways. And, uh, so I woke up feeling very grateful. Uh, grateful to God. Somebody called me yesterday and she was just praying for me. I was trying to, okay, who are you please? She didn't even give me her name. You help my sister. God will bless you. You oh. help my sister. God will bless you. God, I, I, okay, I had to start receiving the amen. And when she was done, she just caught the call. And I'm wondering, who is this person? Mm. You know? So I'm just um, grateful to God mm. for life, for the fact that even if we don't have everything that we want, mm. you know, once you have life, there's hope. And, Fantastic. Yeah. You know, talking about someone calling and praying for you. Recently, you know, I did the um, free class for a few women and a lady saw some of their testimonies and she's a Nigerian designer and she said she was really happy what I'd done and also to pay the kindness for it. She's giving me a designer outfit. <laughs> so, uh, you that's know, really well, nice. that was not, that, that's nice. So it's good to be kind and then, but it was that's not nice. the gift that made it for me that she noticed and that she got in touch with that's me. That's nice. And Any hot plans for the weekend, I beg. All this your <laughs> motivation I'm talking. Okay. Anything going on? Okay, so I'm sending, my daughter is going for a boot camp for a week, uh, a school in uh, Lekki. So they're having this uh, camp. They are going to have other children coming from different parts of the world. They do the football, they do sports, the swimming, and all of that. So she's going to be there alone for the very first time for one week. I'm going to drop <laughs> her there. I paid for it, hmm. and I wanted her to because she will be going um, to the boarding. Ah, in September, so really? I want her to, to get used to that yes, independence. Have, yes, I want that. You see, for this her. conversation of independence, I'm going to school, a boarding house. Mm -hmm. A lot of parents are kind of, kind of reluctant to mm -hmm. send their kids over there because what boarding school had turned to be today. Mm -hmm. When I was growing up, boarding school was, was a great well, deal, well, but well, now. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm really, something I have to now, think I'm about. I'm sure that my son is not going to boarding school. I'm sure. <laughs> right? Because of his level of maturity. The way I see him, yeah. I think maybe he would do He's a, a homebody. Senior, yes, right. senior secondary school, right. but right. like not junior. Elijah, no. uh, anything happening this weekend? This weekend, okay, we're graduating, closing the year in school. So I thought all of us have done three, five weeks in the, in the house already. <laughs> Our own you are just graduating. So the party is happening. They've been on break, but we're going to have that party on Sunday. But then, Sunday. and it's... Um, when, what's her name? Sean's younger sister's wedding tomorrow oh. at um, somewhere in Korodu. I hope I will make it. I really want to. Mm. But I have more serious issues. Right. Ah, mm. This life is not just like that for me. I wish I could come here and just have a ball, but right. it isn't. So this morning, the tankers have, the containers have come. So the terminal is likely to start operations. And the federal government is just having an environmental impact assessment today. When they have already, before I got out of my community this morning, it wasn't funny. Tankers on one side, containers on one side, it wasn't you guys a had joke a protest at all. Yesterday. Yes, there was a protest on Wednesday at the Lagos State. Right. I, 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 I saw an angle of things, right. but the federal government, they're just doing imp environmental impact assessment. You would expect that infrastructure would precede commercialization. Right. So they would expand the roads, they would dualize the roads, they would create a parking space. they are rushing so, this thing. So they don't move the problem in a papa down to a mm. mode of it. But that's why I keep saying this. We don't have a representative. You sense there's a rush because we don't have ministers yet. So suddenly, the same they have they are quickly trying to do it. I, 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 suspect, <laughs> I suspect that's what's likely to, ha to be ha happening. But um, on a lighter note, I spoke with some ex convicts yesterday through lighter. the. Where did you meet them? <laughs> so the Prisoners' Rights Advocacy Initiative was created by a friend, and they've been able to release over 200 um, inmates mm -hmm. by, you know, a pardon. You know, um, the, uh, chief, the chief judges release and a lot of other, other means like that. And some we got through the courts. But these people are just uh, hanging everywhere. Okay. We need to rehabilitate and resettle them. So most of them came because there was a grant most likely to be given. And they were still having pity party. 
Mm. I was going to talk to them, and I, 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 just, I just found the words coming. Right. Looking at them, talking to them, listening to them initially, I just found words to right. actually communicate. And when I actually start to assess some of them, some people, it's the, it's the desperate need to make it. I, 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 can't, I can't do things. You need to learn something that teaches you resilience. You need to learn a trade, something that calms you down, to believe that, you know, things take, take process. Not that this quick, quick, I, I need to... That's why you got, to in the, got there in the first place. Mm -hmm. I think it's in our water that we drink. Everybody across the world. No, 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 even across. Kids, even kids do. Kids do. They have the micro, micro the mentality. World, yeah. Everybody has that quick, quick, fast, fast cash. It's Trust me. World. It's not just them. Anyway, let's go on a break. When we come back, we'll go through the top stories in the papers. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Thanks for staying with us. We're going to start very quickly with the Vanguard. Drones, CCTVs, Afeniferi, Agbekoya disagree with federal government and ONI. Polls, Buhari close defense as APC fails to call any witnesses. Soldiers rift 300 level students at AAUA. I didn't get the name of that university. At checkpoint in Ondo. Mm. Lagos Assembly drills Tunji Belo Omoto shows six other nominees. Terror war, army denies secret burial of a thousand soldiers. Edo APC PDP tango over Senate order to Obaseki. And an interesting article here from homemakers saying that house helps are human. They are mm. not from another world. Very interesting article. Mm. But let's start with the, um, the major headline, the drones. So, oh. the, of course, you know, after the only led uh, meeting to the president, the president suggested certain um, um, was only that suggested measures. Mm -hmm. No, the president mm -hmm. suggested measures that they that uh, that plan to you know to combat insecurity. And part of them were we using drones, putting CCTVs on our expressway and everything. And this morning, Agbekoya Farmers Association have something to say against it. Yoruba Council of Elders. Yoruba Council of Elders <laughs> were positive, but they're saying okay, let's watch it and see. And then um, another group is saying Nigeria is fast losing. Our, you know, uh, 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 our, um, what's it called? Nigeria is fast losing our reputation internationally. Want to add to that story? Mm. No, the no. Agbekoya story. So I don't know, understand why the Agbekoya under the Afeniferi group will mm. believe, will take everything, you know, with a pessimistic mindset. It's important. Now, that what I read in the article, Nimo, was positive. that they're saying that drones are great. But they're not going to fix the problem because what you need to do is arrest the criminals, no, which we haven't no, no, seen. We're not, we're not seeing. They said, um, they said, we will not solve the problem because drones will not work in our forest. We need, uh, they, they need man, man, man surveillance, human surveillance yeah. on in our forest. And these are something that we tested. In Ondo, when they kidnapped no, somebody recently, they used the hunters to get. You know, these are suggestions. You, you, you should, don't cancel one. They're don't not canceling it. They're just saying that. They're yeah, saying it will, it will most likely fail. Okay. That's what the report is saying. Let's take another story. Like, another story. Yeah, you know, so there's a this human is interest story. Um, some soldiers of the um, 32 Artillery Brigade of mm. uh, Army um, recently, I think it was Wednesday, raped a girl of, um, from Adekule Adjasi University in Ondo State. Akumba. So according to the story, these students got to, they were in a bus, they got to a checkpoint. This um, Lance Corporal comes into the bus, looks through the bus and picks one girl out and says she should come down and then asks the bus to leave with everyone. And then he proceeds what? to rape her with his colleagues. They raped her All serially. And oh hour later, God. she goes back and she meets her colleagues and tells them what happened. Thankfully, these people went to the police station. Mm. She was examined and it was, sh it was shown that she was indeed Absolutely. raped. And the name of the Lance Corporal, they just call him Lance Corporal Sunday. So, well, we just hope that this goes, you know, the proper way that she gets Very justice for this. And, you know, the students said that they get molested by these soldiers all the time at that You think that in this day and age, people don't understand that, listen, you can, there's, there are opportunities for people to have actual evidence, to take the evidence to the police. There are ways of people that can actually record the situation. Yes, I'm, so, I'm happy. there are a lot of things holding against you. Why would you still I'm, more I'm, happy kind of I'm happy that she was able to go to the hospital yes. to get that report. But then it's more depressing that the spokesperson for the army is still doubting mm. the story without investigating the story. Yes, so, rape now is very easy. Investigate immediately. Mm. They've gotten the evidence secured through a proper... Let's move on now to the punch. Controversy over alleged secret burial of a thousand soldiers. Mm. Military said, my dead brother was fighting on battlefront, says relative. Uh, defense says that uh, fallen soldiers are given heroes burial, not secret graves. Mm -hmm. Picture here of streets at the NNPC estate in satellite town in Lagos. Negotiations with mom's abductors have broken down, says Siasia. 
Soldiers allegedly raped Ondo varsity student at checkpoint. Petrol fund official to forfeit 24 accounts and house. FG places Amnesty Nigeria under watch list. We recovered hospital equipment from Akpabio's proper disease ICPC. Senate sends cleared cabinet nominees to president. NNPC Nupeng meeting deadlock strike looms. Okay, let's start with the major headline, the thousand yes. soldiers. So um, a report was written by the Wall Street Journal saying that 1,000 military men who have been fighting insurgency have been killed and they have been secretly buried, buried by the army. So they are saying that there's a secret burial ground in Medugri. Um, I can't remember the name of the burial ground now. And that is where most of those men who have been killed in that battle with insurgents are buried in that burial ground. The uh, military is now defending, saying that we don't have a secret burial ground. That actually, when a soldier dies, we give them the proper burial. We do the gunshots, you know, to respond and respect the dead. But a couple of soldiers have been coming out to give these people the report, saying that they have actually watched their colleagues buried in that secret burial ground. I will want the federal government to take this up and investigate. Because a woman, there's a particular story that caught my attention. The woman said that when she went to see her, her husband was killed, when she went to see her husband, the the burial ground that she was shown wasn't, she could feel that that was not the burial ground where they put the husband. So it was just like a facade for her. Hmm. Well, okay. there are other stories. These stories have been coming out since last year. I know personally someone had met me and said her brother was killed during, in combat and they still haven't seen his body. What's well, the ICPC story? I, I do, but this one is even heartbreaking. Mm, yes. So I'll join you the it. PDP presidential candidate to say they should have a panel of inquiry. We need yeah, to understand how our soldiers are honored after their death. But the ICPC <coughs> have recovered um, hospital equipment from, an, from a foundation, Mao Obot Foundation, allegedly belonging to the senator, former senator Goswil Akbabio, pres present ministerial nominee. Mm -hmm. And... Um, um, Senator Miss Issa Misao, representing the Bauchi Central Central. Mm -hmm. These are constituency projects. They recovered six tractors, farmers tractors from equipment from him as well. And the ICPC went for that to, to identify the hospital equipment that they recovered, ECG machines from, you know, proper equipment that we would need have been diverted. I think we should, they should close in on the investigations mm. and let us have a prosecution. It okay. doesn't matter who the personality is. Let's move on to the nation. Buhari raises committee on ministers' portfolios. Focus on 29 new cabinet members, 14 likely to retain their former seats. Suspected illegal arms dealers paraded in Ibadan. I mean, goodness. <clears throat> Why we closed defense four days ahead of time, says Buhari. Uh, British Prime Minister laws and Nigeria's ease of doing business reforms. We won't give up our crown, says Ibadan Obas. Kwara civil servant loses 150 million our property and 400 level UI student slumps and dies. Uh, let's talk about, um, who has a yeah. major headline? Or oh, the picture story of this bullet, who, who has that story? Yeah, Nobody. No, the son can do it. We'll take the son. Yeah. Let's talk about the UI student that yeah, passed out. 400 star. level uh, students of the Department of Nursing said he was working around physiology department uh, 5.30 p.m. on Wednesday when he just slumped and died. Oh. So they rushed him. They had to do the first aid for him. He wasn't working. They had to rush him to the hospital. He wasn't responding. So they took him to their college hospital in Ibadan there. And... Um, he was confirmed dead at the end of the day. So investigations are ongoing to ascertain what killed him. Mm -hmm. so we are hoping. And the um, uh, newly appointed ministers, they're just saying that, well, um, the president has formed a, a kitchen cabinet to make sure that these ministers mm -hmm. get the proper, their proper rules. So I think the term used was round peg in round holes to make sure that they do that. So, so we have a lot of the ministers the lobbying is for... Is, is um, Minister what? Fashola going to retain those three ministers? Yeah, so they're saying, 14, yes, they're saying 14 of the old ministers likely are likely to, to retain their old um, seats, but... Mm -hmm. There's a lot of, of course, lobbying. usual lobbying and everything, right. and people are trying to. You do then it for you next get lobbying election. now. When 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 we, we screen ministers without portfolio, of course mm, we get lobbying. They will lobby Won't for you it. expect that you know you were screening an Ekiyamo, for instance, for the Attorney General's office? 
Okay, I'm mm. at an event. Don't even go there. 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 No, no, no. I'm just oh, saying, so use the person's pedigree mm, to, yes, to have, they so should have a portfolio by now. That lobbying for me is. The job that I allegedly am going to involve, Honorable Minister of Information, we want to be talking for them. The lobbying for me is for them to get the best. Trust me. All that legal work, whatever, I want to push it to. Let him, let him go ask now. Daily Sun. Shiites, no retreat. Els Exaki's daughter explodes. Says group will continue protests. Picture here again of 10,000 10, live cartridges uh, suspected armed robbers in Oyo State. Article versus Buhari, tribunal fixes August 21 for adoption of addresses uh, ahead, ahead judgment. Ibadan, Obers to Olubadan, we won't return to palace <laughs> as high chiefs. Surrender your weapons, northern governors tell the bandits. Okay, so Elsa Zaki's daughter is speaking. Yes, so. Who has that story? I have the story. So, um, you know, after the organization has been proscribed as a terrorist group, the head of media, the IMN, is, came out to say that um, they are going to sup, um, is this soft Put pedal on the, on hold the, on hold the, 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 protest. the protest because uh, they are still having talks to see how they can resolve the issue. But the Elsa Zaki's daughter, Shu. Suhaila is upset and is saying that he has no right to represent us in this, okay. that he's not even involved with the protest that is going on, and the protest will still continue. They even had one in Abuja. They are still going to have one every day till mm. her father is, is released. Okay, this ammunition that was the cartridges, who has that story? Or your, this is all your state too. If you see, in fact, initially we thought there were tomatoes spread out I'm on the floor, you. but they're actually. They <laughs> put sure. Sure. This is. Really, really perfect. And this is oil. Hmm. Governor Makenda has a lot of work to be done. Yeah. Okay, let's say yeah, the Guardian, Article 6 probe into alleged secret burial of a thousand soldiers. Okay, you still have the case in court. I beg, focus on that one, man. No, it's not it's six now. Now. It's I think, no, Article 6 probe into alleged secret burial of a thousand oh, yeah. soldiers. Yeah. We, all, we all agree. You see, yeah. the gravity. Yeah. That's what the opposition is about. That's what the so opposition is about. <laughs> they need well, trust. If, wow, if, wow, our, wow. if our uh, yeah, representatives in the okay. National Assembly are not doing what they should, opposition okay. should run the shadow okay. cabinet and do okay. it. Okay, we're, no, we we we're, we're not against that. We totally <laughs> agree with you. Because we thought that the man was focused 1, on 1,000 souls they are saving all case. their lives. <laughs> all right, that's all we can take. When we come back, we have a guest appearance from the National Association of Sea Dogs. And later, our celebrity guest will join us for our hot topic all the way. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So joining us on the show is the NAS. That's the National Association of Sea Dogs, also known as Pirates Confraternity. Chi Emeka Ozumba. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you very much, Mariah. Um, you can call us on 070-806-68014. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. All right. So when we were, when we were told that you're coming, yeah. there was a lot of arguments amongst the team. Like, how can you bring pirates on the show? What nonsense is that? <laughs> I'm like, unfortunately, I didn't go to school in Nigeria, so I have no idea who a pirate is or the yeah. fraternities. I'm not really clear. clear about but there was a lot of argument, and I saw that, okay, there's a conversation that needs to be had here because people feel you have a certain, there's a certain perception of your organization out mm -hmm. there. Tell us who are the pirates, mm -hmm. what you stand for, and what you were created for exactly. Great stuff. Thank you very much, Marian. Thank you very much uh, for having me. And I think it's probably the best place to start from, to start from the uh, perceptions and misperceptions uh, about us. But the most important thing is who we are. And when you come to identity, it's always important to start first from how someone or how an organization defines themselves. Okay. So founded in 1952 by seven young uh, university students in the then University College Ipado, which included Professor Wole Shoinka, who is still currently the, um, the grand patron of the organization. The definition of the pirate for this over 50 years has been that the pirate is he who having identified the ills 
militating against the attainment of a just society and importantly shows resolve in combating them, then joint hands will likewise to do the same. And to do this, we've got what we call our ideals. And at the heart of it is the four compass point. And taking from when you use the word pirates, and I did say to um, the lady who brought me in to say, is the P with the Y after it and not the I. Yeah. And I think it's important as well to make the distinction that when you talk about the I and the pirates, the bandits of the high seas, yeah. you, you know, you talk about selfishness, you, you talk about brigands who are yeah. out there to yeah. make for themselves um, wealth without caring yeah. at all how it impacts others. Yeah. But with our why, which is why, why are we? Yeah. The reason of being yeah. pirates is those ills in the attainment okay. of yes, a yes. just society. Um, in your analogy now, yeah. explaining who you guys are, you talked about uh, someone with a resolve to yeah. probably solve the issues yeah. in the country, and we have an issue of insecurity. So are you lending your voice to that cause? Is there any plan that you have concerning the insecurity going on in the country? Do you have plans to do something, suggest something, you know, push something forward that will help us come out of it? Yes, thank you very much. You know, lovely question, Obia Julia. Thanks for that. You know we, my name. We, we have... <laughs> definitely. <laughs> definitely. You know, um, we have always been doing that. So starting from the ideals and the origins uh, we have. But clearly today, uh, as we are here, and that's why I'm here representing the Naskapun, who is the head of the organization across the world, uh, Barrister Emmanuel Bahabo. He is there receiving the guests at the Bespoke Center in Lakey, where the um, 23rd Professor Willis Inca annual lecture series is holding. And the topic for this year is a pertinent topic considering the times we are in, which is um, the effects of trans-border conflict mm -hmm. and widespread um, insecurity on the future economic development and social security in Africa. Okay. That is what, and, and we have Professor Dinkal, who is probably um, across Africa, one of the top experts uh, in this area, going back to the Darfur crisis and the role he mm -hmm. played uh, right. Okay. Yeah, that, yeah. I schooled here, yeah. and okay. if I if I can say so, I I, would, I understand well what um, confraternities have become in the universities. I understand the laudable objectives that um, the sea dogs and the pirates have on paper. I, I would like you to clarify for the benefit of those listening and those who have the perception that I have. Mm -hmm. I've been seeing certain things happen in the universities. What your what you do to ensure that your membership, your objectives are not hijacked by, you know, by brigands, yes. bring, what did he call them, yes. brigands? Mm. Uh, bring, 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 so yeah. bandits, or, or and what you do to, what's your process of getting members into the, the, confront, the confraternity? Okay, beautiful. And I think first and foremost, I will start from the most <clears throat> important place. You cannot, as I sit here and speak with you, on international TV, because TVC is an international TV. As I speak here, the city and speak about this and answer this your question, you cannot, cannot, capital, you cannot be a member of this organization. You cannot go beyond the first stage of application if you do not have either a call up uh, letter for your NYSE mm. or a discharge uh, uh, certificate, which means that you are no longer a, a university student. And the whole reason where, why we left, you know, it's sad that an organization that was founded in the universities, because the universities remain, and will always remain the bastion for social change. Because at that young age, people, you know, young men, young women have the idealism. You know, the pressures of life haven't yet distracted them from that idealism. It is sad that an organization like ours got to the point where we had to say, no, we can't be in the universities. Because mm -hmm. we found it difficult to say we are not that. Okay. We found it increasingly difficult and we okay. got to a point where we said. So um, the talk you're having is about insecurity. And as um, Obia Julu mentioned earlier, that is really what's on the front burner of our country right now. So apart from having talks, what, are there any 
um, concrete, well, talk is concrete as well, but are there any other steps that you take towards um, this issue of insecurity in our nation? Yes, definitely. And I think to answer that um, the lovely question, uh, Miriam, the key thing is to say that in the Paris Confraternity is one key thing, which is integration. And in the four ideals I talked about, the second one is against tribalism. So as far back as 1952, these young teenagers said to themselves, look, we're going to come together and we're going to make a change. First of all, we're going to stand against Moribond Convention. Secondly, we're going to stand against tribalism. Third is for humanistic ideals. And the last for comradeship and chivalry. And I'll just use the, the last three to answer the concrete things we are doing. So as ourselves, as our members, we take names. And the whole purpose of taking unique names is why, of course, the um, trying to be unique and different, we also don't want to know where we are from. Okay. So I have people I've known for um, over 20 years that I've been a member who <laughs> I get to their homes and if I see them, I'm like, I'm looking for, I don't know their name. Mm. And the lovely thing about it is that I don't care where you come from. You don't care where I come right. from. Well, and once you do that, you're talking well, about unity. Let's talk about the issue mm. of um, mm. managing conflict because mm. we're a product of our society. What Definitely. we see mm. happening within the Northeast, Southwest and all this because of our, our, our understanding of conflict resolution. So we see that within these various fraternities, to resolve a conflict, they get violent. They, they, they hardly ever uh, adopt an option of dialogue to resolve issues. So we see a lot of young people get out of university with that issue, with that, with that approach of, we have to be violent. You know, we have to take it by force. You know? In your own organization, how do you project or how do you ensure members resolve conflict amicably such that when they leave, that way, when, they, when they're out there, there's no issue of violence. Because constantly, people tend to always um, take the approach of violence across, across the country. So if you have, if your organization is that impactful, what do you do to ensure there's a way they, come, they resolve conflict within, within the group? OK, you know, first of all, I'm not an expert on the organizations you refer to as, so I wouldn't know how they the do pirates. it. So for, for with pirates, of course, like any <coughs> other uh, organization in the world, we've got grievance procedures, mm -hmm. which are um, up to date with any international organization. So it's all about uh, conversation, it's all about talking. I'm sorry about that. Let me rephrase what yeah, I was trying fine, to say. Yeah. What I was trying to say is that we hear that in a lot of groups, mm -hmm. such as yours, amongst themselves, they carry across, this, across the, the across various fraternities, fraternities amongst yes. other fraternities. <laughs> like so rival fraternities, rival fraternities mm -hmm. take up violence against each other because of an issue. As an organization, what do you do to ensure your members are able to resolve things amicably such that violence is not encouraged? Because we hear lots of groups, I don't want to use the word cult, I'm trying really hard not to use that four le five letter word. But a lot of these organizations Clash. always have these clashes constantly. Members. It's almost like a part of, it's part of the, uh, the order of the day within their within their group. So, what do you do to resolve conflicts in your in, in as, as a pirate? Yeah, well, I, I, I had you very clearly okay. with the first one. Okay, yeah. sorry. <laughs> but, yeah. it, you know, but the wonderful <laughs> thing, and I think it reflects how serious the issues are. Is right. You're actually asking two questions in one. You're um, somehow inferring how do we ensure that the way the groups have clashes with themselves, mm -hmm. that we within us don't have clashes within ourselves. Mm -hmm. But I think the fundamental question is. The, the violence, for example, in high institutions mm -hmm. between um, yeah. rival groups. I think that's the great yeah, thing. And, and I will encourage you, let's not shy away from using the word court. Okay. And why is that important? It's important because part of the violence in Nigeria is sustained by we coming up with terminologies that makes us miss the point that these are mm -hmm. criminality. Mm. Ah, so if we, if, we, if, we, if, we go to, if we go to a high institution, mm -hmm. yeah? Call it what it is. A young man rapes a woman. It's rape. Simple. Simple. If a young man picks up a bottle and stabs another, it's, 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 it's a potential manslaughter or mm -hmm. even murder. Mm -hmm. But when you then tell it, oh, he's caught, in our penal code, there's nothing about courts. Yeah, in our laws, that. there's nothing about yeah. So when you then do that, what happens is, oh, let's go and look for these courtes. We, you know, we arrest them. We put them in the station. 
But then there's actually no crime that is courtism. Mm. So the police can't do anything. They will say, oh, let's pray for them. You know, they need to be delivered. Right. Of course, being delivered spiritually is very important. We can't <laughs> ignore that. However, <laughs> however, importantly, all we need to do to um, check violence is to apply the law. Call criminality by its name yeah, yeah. and apply the laws that Final we already question. have. Yeah, so this uh, lecture you talked about that we, uh, Professor Willis Soinka is having, uh, is it open to outsiders, the, the public, public, or is just for your members? No, it's, it's very open. It's been open for um, uh, over 20-something years okay. uh, that it's had different luminaries um, from Nigeria and across the world. It's what held time is it, Benny? What time? 11 Bespoke Center, as I said before, mm -hmm. Bespoke Center at Lakey. Okay. Okay. Along Today? There. Today? Today, yeah. Okay. So okay. it's about to uh, start. Um, okay, as we have to run up. I have to ask this last question. Do you guys wear red? I always see you guys wear red caps. Is that like part of the spirit? Yes, yes. Is it like part of the color? Color? You know, Nigerians, once you hear red like this, you're a witch. Yeah, no, red, red, red is um, a color, just as I think blue is TVC color. Yeah, yeah we know. red and black. I always get scared. No, it's not red and black. It's red. No, it's red. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, the urgency of the work we need to do in society okay. reflects red. So red is not just ah. about danger, it's also red. about action, it's also gotcha. about right. what we okay. need to do. It's Thank also about hot, hot blood and passion oh, for so doing the Nothing for the minute you, right? <laughs> yes, yes, you give to it, right? Yes, so true. Yeah, yeah. That's all. Thank you so much, sir, for coming. Thank, Thank you, Mariah. When we come Thank back, you, Dema. <laughs> we have a hot, great, yeah? sassy, mm. celebrity, beautiful mm. woman. She's going to join us in this conversation. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. With us. So money, they say, is the root of all evil. Ah, uh, is wants to ask this very pertinent question as seen on Twitter. Can a man keep a woman happy? without money in the relationship? Is money equated to happiness? What is it about women that we like to have money? Should men, what should, should men who do not have money stay clear from getting involved with women? What's your own opinion on this? Join the conversation on 070. 8066 You can also tweet us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. We have joined us now is a Nigerian actor, Nse Ikwe Etel in the building. So we'll come to your interview a bit later, but let's focus on this topic. Mm. People say money is the oil, you know, that oils the relation that makes love sweeter in a relationship. But when a man is poor, he doesn't have money. Mm. Are we now saying that he cannot have a fruitful, successful relationship? What are your views on that? Let me start with you. I'll come to you later. Let me come to you, Virginia. <laughs> okay, so um, I believe that happiness is from within. Okay. Happiness comes not uh, from the circumstances around you, but what you can get out from your inside. Happiness is a choice because I've seen people in the same situation of life, one is happy and the other is not. So it's about focusing more on your inside. Now, I also... Your intestines are your liver? Your Now, I also know that yeah. money is sweet. Oh, really? Are yes. you sure? If you have tasted okay. money, you know that money is sweet. <laughs> Even if you have not. Even if you have not. No, if you have not, I hear some people say, money, ah, no, it's not good, or money. You're not missing because it. I, not yes, something. you've not experienced it. Solomon was able to say all is vanity because he experienced <laughs> them. So money is very delicious. And if you have money, if there's love already, and money now touches that love. Jesus. Hi. When I met on a soul. Do you understand what I'm saying? So switching the soul. <laughs> so it's important to have money okay. because money makes everything easy. But let me come to Mara. Mara, so she's saying mm. money is sweet. On one hand, money is sweet. Next hand, happiness is from the inside. We hear you. 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 Mara, what were your thoughts on this? My thought is I don't think so. I don't think that that happiness 
in a relationship can come when there is no money. Mm. And I'm not talking of, and what I mean is when there's no, um, you know that Basic big, no, 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 that big amount of money that you need, you, you have like a private jet, mm. you know, that is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the one that will give you sustainable life, they're able mm. to wake up and switch on the light and the light comes on, there's food on your table. Mm. There has to be that sort of money, <coughs> please. Mm. Because to be completely without, I don't see how it would work. And it's not necessarily because of what most people think, that women are greedy. Because most men, on their own, they feel that that's their role, to provide for the home. And when a man cannot do that, most men are not happy. And their unhappiness rubs off on the wife. So he's become even more, he becomes very angry, quite insensitive. And that sort of, you know, before you know it, the wife feels that mm -hmm. energy in mm -hmm. the home. That's and that. another thing is that with men, when they are not, um, what I notice with most women is that when there's no money, they are usually the ones that have the faith. Don't worry, everything will be all right. But the man usually is the one that is outside. Mm. The, yes, he's hustling. He's afraid to come home. Okay, because but, he feels that when he comes to what will I give? Mm. And the wife now starts getting upset. My husband doesn't come home. So those okay. are the sort of issues that now point, come point, from okay. not so having let me come money to you. at all. Yes. So, there's, so there's a couple. Yeah. The man loves. Oh, he wants to love that. Yes. Love, love, love. I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have shishi. Mm. But the wife, the woman is there, you know, managing and doing her, just managing by, her, by herself. Mm. But all he has is love. It's love. And this woman is thinking, love is nice, but Oga, we have not been able to pay rent. Mm. Yes. She I can't pay the children's school fees. Yes. We don't have the basic <clears> stuff. But so can I ask me. a question? Yes. What's wrong with the woman's hands? Ah! <laughs> no, what's wrong with the woman's hands? I don't get it. We okay. constantly put ourselves in a position where we're totally weak. Okay. You're in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Right. You and the man. You right. live longer. Nobody said that it is a curse or a sin mm -hmm. for you not to work. Mm -hmm. When you get married or in a relationship, I mean, I mean marriage is just giving yeah. it a label. Yes. When you've got a partner, yes. be it male or female partner, Shaking the table again. When you have a partner, right. mm -hmm. what you do is, people's strengths are different. Mm. Sometimes it might not work for the man mm. as much as it's working for mm. you. Mm. So what do you do? You keep on working. That's how you fuel your relationship. That's mm. how you, you grease your love. Okay, I but hear that. happiness okay. mm -hmm. cannot be bought with mm. any amount of money. Thank That's you. So, okay. The only thing that the only way you get happiness is to attain a certain level of understanding mm. that happiness, with or without money, will flourish. Mm. Let me come to the example you just said concerning the fact that a woman should work. We agree. A lot yeah. of women actually would want to make that sacrifice. And they are but the truth is that some men, mm. seeing that their wives are making that sacrifice, sit back, take the back seat. You know what? She's cool, cool working. Mm. And the man is there lazy. He just he, rather he, not. He, 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 taking mm. care of the children if you guys have kids. Mm. That's another thing because it's okay for the man to take care of the kids if he can. Mm. For crying out loud, no one said he's a woman. Since we're on the same side. Thank you, Nima. Hi, hi, fine. Give me high five. Hi, my sister. If I'm a hug, but let me not be jumping over my seat. You see, let's put it in proper perspective. Maintenance, sustenance, happiness, contentment. Let's separate it properly. Yes. So as a woman, if your needs do not put pressure on the man, it's a different thing. If the man in that relationship is not just necessarily, unnecessarily taking advantage of the fact that you're willing to put your hands to work and taking advantage of you, different thing. Mm -hmm. So you're in a relationship, for instance. You have a five million or the five digits work uh, hey, and, and in power. <laughs> and our guy is at home. I'm still waiting. I'm the man. That's not, well, that's not the debate we're having. No, mm -hmm. that's not what mm -hmm. That's one. Is, no, that's one. Is it different Even if it gives you more than that. I, recently, I was, I was called home by a friend, and I was shocked. She's built a business over the years with her husband. Mm -hmm. The man was rich. I suddenly thought his DNA was important. And for the took, kids? For the kids. And he took them, and he did that. And he took this earning power that he now has. He bosses it around her. He meets her. That kind of woman, even in the abundance of money, cars and everything, how she wasn't happy. Mm. So it's not about the money. Women must understand. I was saying to someone yesterday, I said, you need to understand what your needs are. Mm. And you should be content with what you can 
earn part time. If I'm earning a two thousand naira salary, there's no point putting my child in a private school. Excuse, exactly. You, you just make, see. Wait, wait, oh, wait. That I think we're see, going. I think we're going. I think we're going issues. No, we need to we're separate. Issues. No, we need to separate the issues. We're so when we issues. remove, we, when we remove what mm. money is for, what is used for, right. we can then focus on what happiness. Is. What, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll have to go on a break. You can't well, what I want to go break down. What I what I wanted to focus on is. Talking to a young man right now. Yes. yes. He doesn't have money. Yes. He should respect. Hang in He doesn't have anything. Anything. But he loves he lo Jane. He, he loves Jane. Lo no, he doesn't have anything. So back. when he loves, he loves Jane. But now Jane is thinking, okay, no, what are we going to use to sustain this thing you're yeah. proposing to me? Yeah. How do I marry you when you don't have nothing? That's what we'll come to that. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thank you for staying with us. So we know all the nice, nice things. Mm -hmm. You know, women work, uh, compartmentalize all these things. We get it. We'll but we're saying, we're talking to a young man now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's young. All he had is, I love you, Jane. I love you, Jane. That's all he has. And the girl appreciates the love. Mm -hmm. But he ain't got nothing to start off a relationship with. So what would you tell him? Okay, so the thing for me is not just saying that you love. <laughs> you need to be able to speak the love language of your partner. And trust me, I have interviewed, I have consulted, I have counseled a lot of young people and even married women. And most of them started their marriage or their relationship when there was no money in sight. Mm. But because the man was able to speak their love language, they followed him. It happened to me as well. There was no money in sight when I started my relationship. But he was speaking my language. Mm. And so I knew that if the money comes, mm. it's fine. If it doesn't come, he'll work, I'll work, we'll find a way to survive. Mm -hmm. But I followed him because he was able to get my love language, my mm. primary, my secondary, mm. my tertiary, even before knowing the label it was mm. called. Because okay. when I got into life coaching, so, I understood to what where. it was. Right. So the mm. men should understand the person they are getting involved with. Make sure that they are able to touch that person's heart. Once you have that person's key, the person will follow you. You don't need money. OK, mm -hmm. okay yeah. So like I started saying earlier, which is that a man, I don't know if it's God's role, God's given um, role that has been given to him or his society or his religion has done that. But the thing is that we know that the man, especially in Africa, that the man's role is to provide. So a lot of men find that quite difficult to be happy when they are unable to do that. So what I would say is a man should find something to do with his hands. Before getting involved you, yeah, in a relationship. Yeah, not before, before getting to marriage. Because you can have a relationship, but marriage is a whole different thing because there's now provisions for other things. Children will come in, you know, many other responsibilities. You should be able to do that. I understand working in partnership with your wife. And then that means it's something you need to understand. Okay, I'm going to do this. Together we're going to do this. Some people find that difficult. I should be the one that provides for you right. while you take care of the woman. So let me come to you, because a lot of women would love mm. to help their husbands, but the truth is that they get frustrated. You see, they do the year one, year two, frustration sets in. Mm. And the man is, he's a nice nurturer, takes care of the kids, and he's even doing so much that even you as a wife are feeling jealous that my, my kids love this man even more than I'm the one providing. So mm. there's a lot of tension in the home. And you think that all you have, all the man, all the man is bringing to the table is love. Is that enough? Is that enough? Or must he do more as the man in this relationship? That's financially, you mean? Yes. Mm. <laughs> because I know that love is not enough in a marriage. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's what we're going to. Mm. Yeah. That's not what she's saying. No, no I want, to, I want us to go there. Wait, let is, that is that love enough? Okay. It, 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 no, I'm, I asked the question. I said, are you financial, speaking yeah. about financial? financial. Yeah. Because I know that love on its own as an entity right. mm -hmm. is not enough mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. any relationship. Okay. Yeah. So this is not financial, marriage. Yes. Financial. Okay. Um, how young is this man? Let's start from young. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. No, it does Quite matter. Specific. No, we, we, we have to be specific. Yeah. So no, I know. 35. No, in his 20s. Trying to get 35. He's trying to get, he's trying to settle down. 35. He's trying to settle down. No, he can't try to settle down with love if he isn't working. Because he doesn't know himself. I mean, you need to achieve at least a certain level of responsibility for yourself. You should be able to at least wash your knickers. And if you can wash your knickers, it means you can buy yourself knickers. Mm -hmm. If you can provide that for yourself, it means that if you take on another person, you, you would you be understand. able to help. Mm. I, I, do not, I, I do not subscribe, mm. never have subscribed to the saying that a man has mm -hmm. to do everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Mm -mm, it's not going to happen. You're not evil. Let me take Joshua. <laughs> oh, no, uh, she's Joshua. Joshua, are you there? Thanks for calling. <laughs> let, me, let me take this call. Joshua, are you there? Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Go ahead, please. Great to you. I just want to say um, a role-based relationship was de defined to us a religion. It's quite uh, faulty. With the relationship, especially when you talk about marriage, is not based on rule. It's based on capacity. That's what uh, your guest is trying to explain. Of course, uh, love has never been a word. It's never like uh, you talk about love language. Do I have the ability to be a giver? Or do I have the ability? You know, these things are important. But when you come, uh, you, we come to our society here, religion has destroyed them. Mm. Okay. Thank, thank you, Joshua. What, I'm trying really hard to hear you. Yes. So, you see, I, I was running away from using religion. Mm. But now that he's brought it in, thank you, Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> religion has a way of shackling you to believe certain things. Mm. And now we're told... The man is the head of the family. Mm. The woman is okay, the neck. I, I don't know what she is, <laughs> but <laughs> the woman is here. So with this separation, you mm. expect the head to provide for the rest of the body. Mm. And so you, 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 you put pressure Isn't the on... Isn't now? Who wrote oh. the Bible? Who, let's who, not go there. Let's not go there. <laughs> let's not go into religion. Okay, okay let, let, let's bring it back home to where yes. I'm going. There's a couple, listen, there's a couple right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mr. John and Miss Jane. Mm -hmm. They are together today. Mm -hmm. They are frustrated in that union because there's no money. At all. Well, there's no money. They, 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 the, the man can't pay rent. Mm -hmm. the, the, the wife is having issues paying school fees. There's no money. But all they have is each other. Mm -hmm. Oh, we love each so, other. Ryan, so, my so question to you, ladies, is that all? we have together, is it okay? They will grow. Can I explain? They should, they should manage, okay. they should sustain that mm. we have each other for like the next five, ten years. Yes, they yes. can. Yes. Money, money can okay. come, Let's and money see. can come from any Let's other corner. Let's assume you are correct happen. with two, two reasonable, logical adults okay. having only each other. Right. can work. Okay. Yeah. So the two of you have sat down. You love yourself. Mm -hmm. So I would not put the burden I would not take on you. Okay. The two exactly. of us will not be doing elimination method. Okay. Remove the bodies, the, remove those things that you know would shackle Don't the other eat person. Lobster. In fact, let's do family planning. <laughs> so the two will not go yes, the children right. we cannot take care of. Right. So no that I don't point taking. I don't feel that you're abandoning your responsibility. Right. Right. I've seen women walk out of marriages because right. they just feel why, why? 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 Why am I just here? I'm just being disrespected daily. Mm. I have a typical so, example. So the love language for some women would be gifts. See, being a love Trips. language, mm. yes, mm. now they work. But for people like me, or me, is this sort of respect? Hey. High five and wings yes. to fly. Ah, my sister, be available. <laughs> yes, understand what part time we need. So I am not available for the children that we have together. Be available for them. You're on his quality time. No, if, you are, if I'm available, I will be there. You can go and also your dreams and make it happen. Your dream should not clog mine. Thank We're together you. in this. Mm. What we see, let's bring the conversation to why this conversation is happening in the first place. It's the women. Oh, mm. Kokoro. It's the women. Sorry. How come, how come my friends will use the high phone? I'm not high phone. High phone. I need to high phone. I need to wear logo. Oh, gosh. I have yeah. this. We, we put okay. the pressure. So right. you, you, you want to talk to a man. I sometimes talk to my husband in a way that he, he thinks I'm disrespectful. But, you know, see, let's focus on responsibility. See this thing. I don't want. Do you, let me say something. Are you wanting? Niba, I think it's unfair when we keep doing that and make so women to seem uh, like they are quite, you know, no. childish. Can I, can I just, you cannot keep saying that women, it's about iPhone and Louboutins. We know that there are women in relationship where there's hardly anything. They're going out, they're doing the work mm -hmm. and they're still coming back to her husband that's doing nothing. He's not, she's still, she'll still come back and she'll still cook and still take care of the kids and still do school wrong. That one is a cost. No, see, see. That's why we're having this No, exactly. So you're putting an extreme. So I'm giving you another extreme. You're saying that we have women who are, the reason we are having this discussion is because me. we have women right. who are just greedy. Trust me, trust we me. have women no. who are working hard trust with me. men who are not putting in trust anything me. at all. I understand that argument. Yeah. I see it daily in my okay. practice. I understand that the women who put everything on the line and are take, uh, taking advantage mm -hmm. of, but we know why we're asking if it's enough to make someone happy is because some women will not even attempt with a 10 foot 4 for a man who cannot, who cannot, 
provide certain things. But let us, it's let about us. the standard. Some women will tell you, I can't live in this. Mm. This is what the man can afford. This is where his capacity okay. can yeah. rent a house that is fine. and start. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Some women will okay. say no. But but you know, know, there is anything wrong with that, though. But there's nothing wrong with that. If you love a man, and his capacity is not is not out of taking advantage of you. Is that you put you take out the pressure? He can comfortably pay for a rent in a particular area, and you can work and make it happen. And you insist to burden okay. to rent a, so a house to, in a place where there's a go, million. You need to go, put, put you pressure on yourself. You need to go back to, to, the, you you to, go back to the objective want. of why we're having this conversation yes. because I want I really want us to help. Some people out couple. there yes. who are having issues yes. right now yes. concerning this because they are, they have they don't have the means and we need to make them understand that understand each other's love language hopefully that should sustain you at least until you have your, your means. So, yes, so, yes, let me just so, so this is this is Africa this is Nigeria right. and I've seen young people who wanted to marry for love but they couldn't because of the family pressures I had a, fr a friend who wanted to marry for love, but she couldn't because she was the first child. She had to take care of her incapacitated parents. Mm. She had to train her That's siblings easy. in school. Mm. The there was responsibility mm. waiting for her. Mm. So she had two suitors. One had the money to do all of that for her. The other one just is love. love. We just love each other. We are willing to go. She was confused mm. as to what to do. But what when you come home and you see your parents and see your but siblings and everybody, she, she married the one that had money. Good. Is she, she happy today? She's still happy, uh, as far uh, as I why know. Why do you put still? No, because, <laughs> as far as I know, because <laughs> I'm not in the marriage. But and I know she's still happy, yeah. yes. So let, let's not put, sometimes people do certain things or take certain decisions based on what even. they have in their life. Can I say something? Can I say something? All right. People have had suitors. I know someone who had a suitor that had so much money, and another one who didn't have as much. She had the same burdens you're talking about. Okay. Not an incapacitated parent, but of course she had family. She went with love. Hmm. No, okay. she went with love. How is she doing today? She's very happy. Aww. She is happy, mm. and they understand themselves. Mm. That is what it is. That's why I say love is really not enough. Mm. You need Have they to made money now? Well, they, they, uh, they, they can so provide their so basic so needs, they, they are comfortable, comfortable, and that you is know what fine. She, what she did, she, divide, she defined what contentment meant. Because whether or not she married the rich one, she still might not be able to totally change Take the situation at home. Yeah, it's, exactly. it's the same excuse when a woman says, because of my <coughs> dying mother in the hospital, let me just quickly sleep with this man. And, and you're getting to the hospital, the money is there, but the person is dead. Mm. You, you do the surgery safe. The surgery is not successful. Well, I am looking at you it. Go back no, I'm there looking now. at it differently. I'm looking at a person who is in, who is dating okay. two men okay. that she likes, and she chose one over the other yeah. because it's not necessarily because we like to do this thing in Nigeria. No, she wasn't dating no, either. We, we like to do this in Nigeria where the rich man is the evil man. Yes, yeah, so the poor man is the good out man. Of there are some rich good men and there are some <laughs> evil poor men. Yeah, so they are so not evil poor men. They are not evil poor men. They are not evil poor men. I accept. And, and when life, uh, but we're male bashing, aren't we? When life happens to you, mm. when you mm. all you now realize that, listen, money sometimes, go. no, nothing money go. It when go. life happens, you realize mm. that all the kirakita, this is money is quite important. And when it goes, what happens in that money. relationship? Sorry? Can I ask? When money leaves that relationship, because you can have, you can have so much money. Mm. Money no get owner. Mm. That's mm. true. Money no get to get her. Ego come, ego go. 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 Yes. No, unfortunately, oh, really? okay. we have to round up on this. We can't continue on this well, conversation. We'll get it back. I mean, I wish we could continue, but we have to round up on this. But um, I'd like to say, let me let you give us a final recap on this. What are your general thoughts on this? What would you advise that couple right now? I would say to them that the truth is, if you truly love each other, you stay together. And if you know that you cannot stay together, don't use money as an excuse. Mm -hmm. Money, they come, they go. Mm -hmm. if you want, it's not going to give you happiness. Happiness comes from within, yeah. coming from self-fulfillment, yeah. self-enhancement. You yeah. need to know thyself right. first. Uh, so, all right, let's go on a break. When we come back, Thanks we'll delve you. into the interview with Nse. <coughs> oh, I see you here. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Uh, <laughs> 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 
see, you are fantastic. You know, you are, you are no, that, that vein, that, that, there's one single vein <laughs> that comes out. <laughs> that you know, I see it almost every time in all your movies. Because you're so, you talk with such a passion. Anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the like, best ones. So. I, I, you see, best. I don't even know where to start it. from. Yes. Mm. You bring so much passion into your movies, your characters, mm -hmm. and we see it. Um, let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me go to how, uh, I don't want to go to how you started, but. Let's it, not go there. Let's not go there. Mm. Let, let, let's talk about how you choose your scripts. How do you choose that role that, you, that brings out these characters we so much fall in love with? I, I would, I used to say that I picked my scripts. I think the, the scripts picked me, the mm. stories picked me. Mm. Because that way, I can't separate. I, I just become mm. that person. So I, I, I would say that the stories have picked me. And when someone, when a producer or a director insists, oh, I really want Unset, then they've seen something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they think that I can, I can, I can, yeah. And I can, I can, I can probably um, carry the role properly and then interpret the character. Uh, nah, I think I've, the scripts picked me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah So say me, I have a very, very personal question. Away. Hey, <laughs> this is Abi Sheikh Tibo. So recently, we you started the conversation on womb watching, Nigerians and our impatience. Clifford, sorry. <laughs> okay, he's warned you. So <laughs> this, this, okay. Continue. So this conversation made the headlines. And among this table, I was one of the 1% who said, why would she say such a thing? It must be, it must have a history. And I really take exception because I've been called out I even had people who had the condition reach out to me to say, do you know how difficult this is? My mother had it, my sister had it, and all that. I want you to take me around that journey, how that condition happened, what you, how did you cope with it? And how did you come to accept it that you, know, you could just be happy with it and you know, live life normally. normally? Okay, I'll ask you a question before I answer. If you broke your tooth today, would you carry on with life? Of course. It's a part of the body. Mm. Strong. That's what it is. Mm. So I had a condition. I had to face my fears. Mm. I had a good partner, mm. an supportive. amazing partner, supportive, mm. who thought we have to choose life. It's okay. Mm. And so I went ahead and then I got treatment for it. And then unfortunately, or fortunately for me rather, because that's why I can live qualitative life. So yes. And so you, you, you going I had to the that. first part of our question, which is very important because yes. a lot of Nigerians are the mentality we have is that we should not talk. Mm. So, no, no, it's the fact that what caused it, what led to it, be, you know, um, that that is where it's not a very, it's not a very common condition. Yeah. Endo is more, uncommon. it's quite uncommon. Mm -hmm. Endo is quite, you, yeah, endo is common. About. Endo is the name that everybody hears, right. endometriosis, blah, blah, blah. Nobody speaks about adenomyosis. Adeno adenomyosis is, uh, I honestly have tried to find out what causes it. I still don't know. Mm. I, I've, I, I've, it's something I, cons I read about it. Mm. I read about it. I, re I, I asked different physicians, different doctors, my GP, my surgeon, and they just said, you know, it can happen. Mm. This, it can happen. Mm. So it's really on, it's like having, I think when a womb stays fallow, you also have fibroids, mm -hmm. but you can't explain where it comes from. Yes. Mm -hmm. And but it's more black. Mm -hmm. Let me put it that way. Yes, women of color right. Right. have it a lot more. Mm -hmm. I like that. Um, I know it's it's so personal. And most times with Nigerian women, when things are that personal, mm -hmm. and especially when society sort of puts a, mm -hmm. a label on you, mm -hmm. we don't mm -hmm. speak about these things. But you started a conversation. Yes. Yes. So for me, I know you are going through it then, but for us now, it's part of our vocabulary. Yes. Now we may be able to see someone else, mm -hmm. and when they tell us this is what they're going through, then we have empathy yes. for a person. We know where that person is coming, coming from. from. Yeah. So for me, I feel that silence in our society is a major killer. It's really. our culture yeah. to be silent. To be silent. <laughs> so I know that this is quite you know, personal to you, yes. but I just want to know, where do you get the strength to live? To be happy because most people would wear this on their face yeah. every day, uh, and you would I, I, know I, I, this I wore is what I'm going through. Face, so. <laughs> yeah, what do you talk? Uh, no, I, I don't, my was very brief. I wore it on my face. <laughs> Perhaps you, you are very a colorful person. <laughs> 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 let me let you respond to Mariam's question. Okay, Mariam, I uh, I don't know if you call it finding strength. Mm. 
I think it's learning to get on with it. Because things happen to you, you get on with it. Your relationship ends, you get on with it. Things happen, you get, but we seem to put things on a scale and wait and say, oh, this is so heavy. Mm -hmm. My heart can take it. Of course your heart can take it. Mm. Of course you can. Your body can take, your body can take as much, we're built to be resilient. Mm. But we choose when to be weak and when to be strong. Mm. So it's a choice. It is a choice to be happy mm. in this situation. But that's my earlier point. So it I'm is happy. a choice mm. to be happy. Okay, um, I know that um, I've seen your works. You are one person I see on screen, I'm like, hmm, she I can act like that. She's good. Like, how does she? She has class. There's, there's that class. There are just a few of you in the industry that have that class. When you grace What school did we go to? Is it a classroom? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just I know. It's a level. No, it's, it's, a, it's a level, Abby. Okay. okay. It's a level. So, and reading about you, yes. you talked about you wanted it and you had to go for it. You were stubborn about what you wanted. Yes. Now, Somehow, my life is about that stubbornness as well. I know what I want, I go for it, you don't like it or not, I find my way, I fight through. But there are young people out there who have so much to give. They are talented, they have the gifts, but one family member who's probably paying the bills is saying, you can't go to school and study theater art. You can't go to school and do this. Yes. You can't do this because I'm in charge. How do you advise such people to still find a way to follow their passion? I will still say, go to school first, mm -hmm. okay. right? Study For, whatever? Study, you can study whatever, because reading theatre arts doesn't necessarily make you a great actor. No, it mm -hmm. doesn't. Okay. You have to be talented first. Mm -hmm. Everyone thinks they're talented. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> where everyone thinks they're talented. I think, I, sometimes I think, I say, yeah, I've got it. But then when I see work, I'll be like, ah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, it's like this, you know, I, I don't, because everybody thinks they can do something. Mm. Which is why, of course, um, we can all, everyone can run and say, oh, I want to be an actor, I want to be this, I want to be that. When they give you the work, then we start to understand that it's not about the red carpet. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I mean? Yes. So everybody, I think that some sort of education is really important. Okay. Because once you're educated, you would eliminate ignorance, mm -hmm. which or have big literacy, which is worse than ignorance on its mm -hmm. own. And then in the end, mm -hmm. you can, you know, I mean, I'm looking for the English. Consolidate on that. <laughs> Thank you, Miriam. <laughs> Saint Louis. <laughs> Saint Louis. <laughs> Saint Louis. <laughs> Hello. Are you there? Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. I want to first of all say, Nima, you're my darling. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Nima, <laughs> okay. Uh, Nima is my darling. Somebody's wife. I wish you don't marry now. Ah! Ah! That is my 10th anniversary. I want to be married to you. Nipsi is my love for life. Children or no children, I will adopt all the amount of children she needs in this life and give to her. That Sorry. lady inspires me like mad. Wow. Thank you, sir. Oh. Then my sophisticated uh, uh, woman, uh, don't worry, Barcelona. Yes. Okay, Maria, 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 very sophisticated. Maria is too sophisticated. Hey. They have run away from Maria. She's too sophisticated for me. Okay. <laughs> oh my Thank God. you very much, my own, my own, my own, That is my own stubborn. Ah, this I this is too Fire. <laughs> it's going to go out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Dow. We have very little time, so we want to squeeze as much as possible. But, uh, let me come, I have to ask you a question. Yes. And so you come across sometimes as eccentric, uh, you have this energy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you have a quiet time where <laughs> you just every, you shut out everybody? And do you have any regrets? Do you think back and look back, okay, what have I done wrong? What, what can I do better? Do you have that moment? Because you see you and you're just so happy, and we're thinking, this woman, there's got to be somewhere you sit back and think, okay, do I have any regrets in life? Mm. Choices you've made. You know, it's funny. Someone asked me this question if I had any regrets years ago in an interview, and I answered, oh, yes, I wish I'd had kids. Mm. That, at the time. And then, and then she asked me, and I went, I was happy, oh, I hope to have two incidents. Actually, right now, no, I don't have any regrets. Mm. Now, what, mm. You know, I, I, I've accepted everything mm -hmm. that I've come across in life and everything has been a learning curve. So it's either to make me better mm. or make me 
achieve greater heights. I, 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 I'm happy with where I'm at. You know the jobs in future? No. Oh, okay. All right. Seems you've made that yeah. decision already. Oh. You know, they say never. And I'm not going to have a conversation about it now. Okay, okay. okay. that's fine. Yeah. So let's, ne let's, let's leave that. You shake another table. You know, I'm going to just focus on all your table shaking. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk to about this one. one. So there was a period when you said we, we should allow prostitutes get their pay. We should legalize and allow them. And you're against it, I Ah, we argued now, don't forget. <laughs> we were like, oh, I'm like, this is for waiting now. So are you, this world, this Nigerian world, exactly where did that thought come from? Why? Why what? Why would you even think it? Say, Why think did you what? say it? That prostitutes should not be paid mm -hmm. their due or given cards to carry as if they work. Mm. It's a job. A job. It's the but... oldest job profession in the world. Yes, sir. Excuse me? Really, Nima? No, let's, let's leave morality out of it because the truth is, we're all big on our morals. Yes, I better pass this person. Da, 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 da. You think of the children, sir. You don't want, you don't want to see where your kids feel as if prostitution is an option. Prostitution no, I'm not option. saying prostitution. Think of the kids, think of the kids. The things that we do behind closed doors. Don't we, do we think of our <laughs> children? This people should have sit down. Please, can you throw me that different from that? <laughs> I'm saying, though, but. They all the blood on this land. Mm. Have they thought of the children? Uh -huh. Prostitution, you want to come and follow. Mm. Leave them to do their work. It's their yes. choice. Pay them. Mm. You know if you want to pay this? them, give well, them. Well, you don't ask well, people well, we in power to go and rape them. I, 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 please, you push it. Stop. No, Let me no, come no. When we had this argument, yes, sometimes they're taking advantage of. Mm. Yes, sometimes they are. And your, your side of the argument that you raised that day would have worked for me today. If you had talked about the, pe the people patronizing them, how, what are we doing about those people? Instead of focusing on these women, that would have worked. Yeah, but this, this, this uh, trade, listen. this trade is going to cost us as a society largely. It has it cost? Has it cost any anybody who has accepted it as what it is? It hasn't. Co we constantly harp on everything to do with morality. Yet, where are we as a nation? We're even the hmm. baddest. Let's 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 be honest. Mm. We can't harp on little things that really don't matter. It's mm. a job. Nima, if I came to you today and I said to you, and he asked me, I said, what do you do? And I say to you, um, I'm an executive comforter. <laughs> no, I, no, just listen. Executive comforter. <laughs> and the book no, I'm it. serious. And I said to you, I'm an executive comforter. Mm -hmm. Will you judge me? Based no, on that, because, no, for lack of understanding, no, for lack of understanding. No, listen. Okay, so I can, and I said to you, I'm an escort. Mm. Would you feel bad about that? No, we're yeah. not escorts. Yeah, no, that that's one. fine. It's, yeah. it's, yeah. It's, yeah. It, it can it's lead yeah. to that. The meaning attached to the word. Mm -hmm. No, I'm an escort. Yeah. Doesn't an mean escort that I that. do not. That it is what it is. Yes, it is. You've so not heard of? would you, would you, would you judge me based on that? Of course, because I know what you're saying. You see, you're a judgmental person, Nima. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Wait, okay. Shut up that show. All right, okay, let's go. I want to, can we? Let them around, please. Yeah, on a lighter note. See, you say you look great. First of all, I think we need to put it out there that she went to St. Louis College, Joss. Yeah. So we need to put it there. Where's the West Logan? Well, okay. Please go. 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 <laughs> I'm there, Good morning. Good morning. I please, can I talk about this post office before Absolutely. I go Absolutely, go ahead. Okay. It's your view, let it count. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Morayo, you need to tell us the truth. Mm. Uh, I can see that you are trying to, your guest is trying to debate from uh, him putting the religious to that question. And then for me, that's not how you can take out religious out of it. Why? Mm. Because I'll plant it. I was the Al Kwamana Alan. I think uh, sister I never know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Before Quran says that, you are provided as a man. That what makes you head of the family. And then the same Quran says that if you know that you don't have money, try to be fasting, continue fasting. Do you understand? Because you know you cannot manage a woman without money. That's why Quran says instead of you to go and marry and then begin to punish that woman, that marriage. Continue fasting on the God, on the God Almighty Allah and fast you. That is number one. Number two, if you don't have money and then you only have love, mm -hmm. the love cannot go all the way because if you don't put food on the table on a, on a woman, at the end of the day, the woman's cook of business yeah. another person. That is nothing. Sorry. For me, I, 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 I also Thank you. This is this is knowledge base. Let me just go. Yakub, Arija Luka Abuna Alan Nisai means provider, guardian, protector. It doesn't, it doesn't talk about wealth. Let's not misunderstand the interpretations. 
So I must, I must arrive before I do. That's not it. In some clients, some, at, some, in some, at some point, the prophet also talked about, you know, marrying within means. Mm. So mm -hmm. we, may, we must not misunderstand yeah, this thing. Okay. Right. <laughs> in the scriptures, when God was blessing, he said, and he blessed them, male and female, and said, be fruitful and multiply. It's not just the male that should multiply. The female can work as well yeah. because you have the same blessing, you have the oh, same brain. Yes, yes, I was, yes, it's please, not just for children. Thank you very much. Please, say, how do we... So, let me walk up. Oh, see the shade. No, it's not just about children. It's well, about well, my not challenge. That's what I'm not just about children. I mean, I don't want people to lose this. I mean, mm. how do we keep? How do we look so fantastic? Mm. Are we working out? Are we eating yes, a certain way? What skin, are we doing? Skin, skin, gloves. Why are you writing a book first? Oh my oh, God! You need to write a book on your life because. When, when you have finished oh, the no, has hijacked oh, no, Please, no, go ahead and say. <laughs> Let's just be together. <laughs> the, the skin and Look how you say. From our head we to know. Our Tell us how you <laughs> handle this. Go ahead. I, I, I just, I, I, I love food a lot. Me too. I love food a lot. I, I, and you're keeping weight. Watching I'm not watching my weight, no. Okay, so what are you doing? Bella. I'm just Go not overeating, <laughs> but I love <laughs> food. <laughs> do you eat sugar, do you eat? Because we sugar. have components of sugar here. Like you love sugar. sugar. And stuff. No, but that's, chocolates are not that, they're not bad. They're not bad, they're good for the yeah, They're good for the heart. Yeah. See, when you are lined up to be blessed, I don't know, I don't know where God put me. You're because telling you have beautiful hair. I told you. No, I am blessed yeah. in a different yeah. way. Yeah. See, I like, I like to eat. Heaps. When I eat, it, it shows. shows. <laughs> you, you eat, it doesn't show. Oh, it shows. Oh. I just chew, I just chew the right places. The right places, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I just choose. Right. I, I think um, as, um, I haven't walked in a while, but I'm I'm a walker. I do at least eight miles every morning. Okay. Um, okay. It is a lot, so but if you are looking for what you are looking for, mm. be resilient. Yay. You get it. Skin. My skin. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It's just a whole lot. Um, I, I have something called Eden's Theory. Uh, mm -hmm. We do oil. Um, well, we do oil, Essentials. natural 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 oils. Oil. And it's, um, they're handcrafted and um, yeah, sourced yeah. from Africa. Mm. Why? You don't want to buy my I own. I secret now. Oh, you did sell? Yeah, sell go online. Okay. okay. <laughs> 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 it's a name, the oil. No, 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 give us recipes. Okay, okay. recipes. recipes. So, also, I saw you with your drink, and I mean, I had some of your lemon, warm lemon water. Water. As well. It's just, mm -hmm. you know, lem uh, they, there's this thing they say if you, if you chop lemon, you're not going to burn. You know, they have just, you, have you heard those yeah. things? Oh, they say, yeah, your womb, your womb, your. Yeah, so I'm drinking it more now. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to run out. But, but okay, I have, let, me no, very, let me ask you this question. Let me ask you this question. Yes, please. And please don't be mad at me asking this question. Do you desire a miracle from to have where? A, child? a miracle? How, how do you mean? You know, these things happen in church where God just. <laughs> okay, I, I like. Like God, you just get a woman. Listen church. now. Do you, are you believing God for a, for a miracle? Clifford, I'm sure you're laughing where you are. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like sure God, you must be laughing. Because God, God can actually give you a new womb. You know that, right? If she wants. If she wants it. It. Why hasn't God replaced my tooth that got missing here? I'm waiting for because it. Because you didn't, you didn't ask him. I'm, I've been asking for it. I actually want the tooth. <laughs> okay, it's a Gary right. No, but let's not, let's not, let's not, let's not, let's not, so that someone will not come and turn yeah. it to something else. Something else. Right. But the truth is, I believe that if in religion we use our sins, we will understand it. Yeah. But you see this thing called miracle. It's a miracle I'm alive. Mm. And that is all I stand for. Yes. I love you. Mm. I love my yeah. son. This is my sister. I will not you, change it. There's thing. nothing. Permanently now. We need to say more than that. And a fabulous weekend. We'll see you on Monday. We'll see you on Monday. We'll see you on Monday.